chop and drop technique that I first coined by Jeff Lawton. And uh, today we are chopping and dropping ragweed. And ragweed grows really tall. It generates a lot of biomass and a lot of people are highly allergic to it. It is uh, nearly the end of August and the ragweed is flowering, which is good for pollinators, but soon it will go to seed. We're trying to function stack here in cutting down this tall ragweed and also providing more mulch uh, to our fruit trees and other perennials that we have planted close by. Goal is to not have to move this very far. We're just using a pair of loppers, but you can use machetes or even hand pruners or whatever you want. So I'm gonna cut this off close to the base because if you leave too much stem standing up, then you're gonna end up with something that could poke you if you're walking around barefoot or if you fall, and it'll be kind of brittle, but it could still hurt. So we're gonna chop it up. That's the chop part. And then the drop part is you just take it, and because it's so long, I'm gonna fold it up a few times, and I'm gonna put it right around the base of this fruit tree. So I'm folding it a couple times. And then there's a fruit tree. So this is a pear tree. And there's also some artemisia here. And so I'm gonna kind of move the artemisia aside. Artemisia. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this here. And the goal is to shade the soil and to provide food for little critters that are gonna come up here and eat this and then put it down in the soil. So if an earthworm comes up and nibbles on one of these leaves and then it goes back down into the soil and then it produces worm castings. So that's how you chop and drop ragweed which is one of the better chop and drops in Texas. And the key is do it before it goes to seed or else you're gonna be putting a bunch of seed right at the base of something and then next year you're gonna have an explosion of ragweed or whatever it is that you're chop and dropping right there. All right, cool, chop and drop. Mm -hmm.